everyone, this is Yolanda from the Offcrafts channel and in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to do this little dishcloth. This pattern can also be used for a skull art for uh, any other project you want. It's just made by making an even number of chains. So if you wanted to do uh, 10 chains or this has uh, 30, um, you just do as many as you want and then as many rows as you need. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. This is a great little stitch. It's called a uh, cross uh, Excuse me, it's a cross double crochet stitch. So I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Let's get the party started. One to begin uh, my video, I'm going to be using a size J hook. The gauge is not really important here. Um, so you would just, uh, you can actually use a smaller hook if you like. The size J is a size 10 and it's about six millimeters. I'm gonna be using the, since I'm making the, I'm gonna be using this pattern in a dishcloth, I'm gonna be using 100% cotton yarn. I'm just using this hot pink and uh, to begin you're going to do just a number of uh, stitch even chains. So here um, so I'm going to be starting with 32 chains. You can do as many or as little as you need if you're making a little um, what do you call it uh, um, a little coaster for your coffee cup then of course you would make it smaller. If you're making a placemat you would make it bigger or whatever you're using this for. I'm going to begin by doing 32. To begin, I'm going to do the slip loop, so I wrap it around my finger, my index finger, pull it out to the back, and then I'm going to pull out my yarn. Okay? I'm going to do 32. You do, need to do 30, your, uh, an even number of chains, okay? So here to do the, the chain, I'm going to wrap over, I'm going to yarn over, and pull through. There's my first one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you were just doing a little co coffee coaster, you could do it there. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Let me see if it's wide enough. Oh, no, wait, two more. 29 and 30. Okay, I've done my 30 chains, and you would just do it as wide as you need. Just remember to make even number of stitches. So to begin here, on the fourth chain from the... Um, hook here's one two three these count as our double crochet on the fourth chain here is where our actual stitches are going to begin so we're going to skip that fourth chain for now and on the fifth chain here we're going to do our double crochet to do a double crochet we yarn over meaning we wrap the yarn over our hook in chain number five there from the hook we're going to go in there we're going to pull out our yarn we're going to have three loops of yarn on our hook we're going to pull through the first two then the second two. And this, since this stitch is called a crisscross or a double cross, um, now here we're going to do a double crochet into the fourth chain, the chain that we have skipped. So here you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook, you're going to yarn over, and then you're going to go back to the fourth chain. See how this is why we're crossing over or double crossing. You're going to pull out your chain, your yarn, you're going to have three loops on there. Pull through the first two, then your second two. And this is basically what the stitch is. We're going to be crossing back and forth. Uh oh. So now you see that the stitch, one is on the bottom and one is on top. So we've gone this way and then back this way. Now to do that, you're just going to repeat that all the way across, ending at, with your last uh, chain. It's going to have a double crochet. So here to do this, we're going to skip the next chain and on the following chain, chain number two, then you're going to do your first, your next double crochet. And now you're going to double crochet into the stitch, that chain you, you skipped. Pull it out there. You're going to have three loops on your hook. Pull through two and then through your next two. So here is the pattern. It's just going to be crisscrossing that way. 
I'm going to continue that all the way across. So here, I'm going to skip my next chain, and the chain after that is where I do my double crochet, and I'm just going to be repeating what I've been doing here. Now here, I'm going to double crochet into the chain, back into the chain that I had skipped. Let me see if I could grab this letter for you. So here, I'm going to double crochet back into this chain that I skipped, and that is this whole pattern, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and work all the way across. Oops, uh-oh. Here, I'm losing my yarn. <laughs> There's the three loops. It's so hot in here, and I'm trying to hold this camera to two, then our two. So I'm going to go ahead and work all the way across until I finish my whole row and come back and finish the last stitch with you. Okay, here I'm coming to my last stitch. So here I'm just going to do one double crochet into my last chain there, okay? To go up to my next row, I'm just going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to turn my work over. And now you're going to repeat the same thing. I'm just going to start here on top of these stitches. So here I'm going to skip to my second stitch here. And on top of that I'm going to do my double crochet. Then do a double crochet in the previous chain. Okay, so you're just working your crisscrosses on crisscross double crochets on top of your previous post. So here. So now here we're doing the same thing. We're going to double crochet into the second one, second post, and now double crochet back into the one you had skipped. Okay, pull to two, then your next two. Continue doing that all the way across. When you get to the end, you do your one double crochet and then you chain three to move up. You're going to do that, continue repeating rows till your piece measures about 10 inches for a dishcloth. If you want it a little bit uh, taller, that's up to you, or if you're doing a placemat, then of course you would do it taller. But this is how it's going to look, your stitches. They're just crisscrossing on top of each other. So first, you're going to crisscross, you're going to, you're going to cross over, then you're going to come back to the next post. So here, once again, I'm going to do this one more time for you. Here, I'm going to go into my second double crochet, do my double crochet, wrap yarn over and go back to the double crochet I had skipped. So now I have done my complete cross uh, cross stitch or double, it's called the cross double crochet because it's a double crochet. So this is the, the how the pattern is going to look. I'm going to repeat this until my piece measures about 10 inches here and uh, it might be a little bit bigger for a dishcloth but I like mine to be a little bit uh, wider. You can make it smaller. Remember you can just do even stitches. So go ahead and continue to repeat this row. When I get to the end here on the chain, on the third chain, one, two, three, I'm going to single, I'm going to put in my hook through there, do my last double crochet and then move up and then uh, turn my work over and continue doing the same thing. So go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you how the finished dishcloth looks. You could also use this same pattern for um, tablecloths, scarves, runners, whatever you want to do. Okay, I finished doing my rows. So I just tied off. So this is what your dishcloth would look like or any other project you do. Oops, sorry about the dogs guys. The trash truck is going by and they're getting excited. So this is that stitch. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button. And uh, please uh, spread the word about my channel with your friends and family. Thank you so much and have a great day.